It is raining outside today in Seattle. Whipped out the fall candle. I feel like it's officially fall. I'm just pretending like it is, but today I thought we'd do a cool toned kind of look for fall. I mean, I don't know. I think you can wear whatever you want year round, do you? But today I'm super excited because I have a ton of MAC dupes for you guys. I did half of my face in MAC products and then the other half in Carity. And Carity is a brand that basically has super affordable, blendable, dupes for high-end brands like MAC and Urban Decay. These retail for $4.50 a pan, which is a freaking steal. And if you buy the MAC shadows like this in the little pot, they're $16. You can get the MAC pans for cheaper. For $4.50, you're getting pretty much the same thing. You guys will see. I really don't think you can tell which side is which. The quality is there with these. Carity was cool enough to partner with me on this video, so if you guys wanna save some money, I'm gonna leave a discount code down below along with the link so you can check everything out. And the rest of my face is also affordable drugstore products. All of my opinions, like always, are completely my own. If I recommend something that I don't like at the end of the day, it looks bad on me. So you guys know my deal with sponsored videos. So half eye MAC, half eye Carity. I'm gonna show you guys swatches of each shade as well. Let's get into the video. Got the coffee, let's pin back the hair. I do have a little bit more like blue cool tones in my hair, which I really like. Talked all about what I used on Snapchat, but it's this color wash thing that's freaking awesome. I'll link it down below. I have already done my foundation and I used the Maybelline Superstay foundation, which is one of my old time favorites. I haven't used this in forever, so I whipped it out today. And to lighten it, I mixed in a little bit of the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. That took me 10 times to say. So that's the only not affordable thing in this whole video. Um, I just had to do that to get my foundation to match my body. That's what's on the face. Let's jump into the eyes. I'm gonna be using MAC Bare Study Paint Pot on one eye to prime. And then I have two options for semi-close dupes. This is the Maybelline Barely Beige Color Tattoo. And then I also have the BH Cosmetics Smooth Canvas. And all of these look pretty similar. The Bear Study has a little bit more of a rosy tone to it. Both of these Maybelline and MAC products are slightly dried out, so we'll see how this goes. I need to like mix in eye drops or something. Let's do MAC on this side, and then we're gonna do affordable on this side. This is super dry, so I'm just warming this up between my fingers a little bit. I personally love MAC paint pots to prime the eyes. I usually like soft ochre or painterly just because it's matte, but I don't have a matte dupe for the paint pot, so that's why we're going in with shimmery right now. But it's fine because we're just gonna be applying shadow over top. And bring this up right below the brow bone since it is a nice kind of highlight shade. So I'm going in with the color tattoo by Maybelline on this eye. So I'm gonna start off with MAC Soft Brown, which is like a Colt MAC classic, and then eye nod, e nod on this side of my face. Taking e not taking i not Is this a word I should know? <laughs> and I am wiping off product in between on my brush, but I'm not gonna be switching brushes. I just feel like it's kind of excessive. I'm gonna go in with matte cork and the Carity dupe is muzzle. I'm taking a more compact blending brush and I'm just gonna place this kind of in the crease just to add a little bit of dimension. I'm taking muzzle now. So I'm using Night Divine on my MAC side. Typically with lid colors lately, I like to place it with the brush just so I can get more precise application and then go in with my finger and kind of tap more product on just to get the full pigment. Is that thunder? There's like major rain thunder going on right now. Man, these nails, a little rough. Then I'm gonna take my finger and just pack some more color right on top. Going in with Wrath. Ooh, this one is actually 
more pigmented. I feel like I'm getting the same effect with this with the brush as I did with the MAC one with my finger. This is super nice and like metallic-y. If you have a little bit of hooded lids like I do, I feel like sometimes when I go like this, it looks different than when I'm actually relaxing my eyes. It's always helpful to just relax your eyes and see where the product falls and if you want it higher or lower. I'm gonna take Wrath on my finger even though I feel like we don't really need to. Heck yeah, super pretty color. Now I'm going to take MAC in Bark and then the Carity Dupe, which is Temptress. I think I'm just gonna place this on the outer V. I'm just gonna kind of pack it on there and then we'll blend with an empty blending brush. I think this one, Temptress, is actually more pigmented too. I'm just taking that first brush I used. This is the Morphe R39. First, I'm gonna super lightly blend and bark into the gray shade. And I'm just using a really light hand with this so it doesn't look muddy. Coffee time. So no idea how this one is going to look, but I kind of want to take nylon and moonshine and put this on just the center of my eye to get like that pop. Okay, this is actually just adding a really nice like reflect right in the center. Doesn't look too light, it's just making it like a lighter gray. Ooh, look at that. Going in with moonshine. Heck yeah. Okay, these are giving literally an identical, yeah, they look identical. I'm gonna take my finger and just add a little bit more of each right on the center. So for the lower lash line, I'm gonna go in with some Max Soft Brown and Enod. We're just gonna call it Enod. And I don't wanna blend this all the way in today, I'm just gonna keep it kind of on the outer half. With a super smoky eye like this, it's easy to get kind of closed off, so I'm just gonna keep it on the outer half to keep my eyes looking open. I'm gonna take a little bit of Embark. I'm putting this literally just on the very outer part, not bringing it as far in as soft brown. And Temptress. So right on this lower inner corner right here, I'm gonna go back in with Nylon and the dupe. And Moonshine. Ooh, look at that. I feel like I need just a little something something to blend more in the crease, so I'm gonna go back in with Cork. I would say out of all of these shadows, Cork has the most fallout. None of the other ones, either MAC or Carity, had any fallout. I'm gonna go in with my Holy Grail Physicians Formula Eye Booster in Ultra Black for liner. I actually don't have MAC Black Track or anything, or else I would have done that, but we're just gonna go in with some affordable products for the rest of the look. I feel like these look literally identical. I'm gonna do a close up at the end so you guys can see. I'm going with a thin coat of mascara using Maybelline Lash Sensational. And I am going to be using falsies today, but you could totally skip out on that. I ordered softbox lighting, which I am super excited for. It should make the lighting on point. I don't really want to add anything to the waterline today, so I'm just going to go in with... Actually, no. First, we're going to go with falsies, then I'm going to put on some bottom mascara. But while the mascara is drying, let's bronze up the face a little bit. I'm use this Maybelline Master Contour in the shade 10. We might just use this for blush and bronzer. Oh, I didn't get my brushes. So ever since the Dollar Tree makeup challenge video that I did, this brush has been my jam. Super soft, just blends really well. I feel like this side of my face always applies contour better. I'm gonna go with the blush shade in the same palette and just apply a little bit of this. I really like this blush shade. It's like a super pretty rosy color. This ColourPop Super Shock Cheek Highlight in Flexitarian. This is one of their new highlighters. It is so freaking pretty. I am usually not into cream highlighters at all, but there's something about this. Oh my god. Oh my god. Do you see that? It blends out really nicely on my skin and just gives the prettiest glow. Okay. I think we are ready for falsies. I'm gonna go in with these Ardell 600 Blacks. These are kind of hard to find. I don't even remember where I actually ended up finding these. I think Sally Beauty, but a lot of the drugstores don't carry this one for some reason. Super fluttery and separated. I'm just gonna make sure I already cut these, yeah. While this eyelash is talking, talking. <laughs> While this eyelash is drying, let's talk about life. So I'm gonna be going to Idaho the 18th. 
I'm pre-recording a shit ton right now. I filmed like six videos this week to have videos go up. This month is freaking crazy. Later in the month, I'm going to BeautyCon with Mallory, Mallory1712, love her. Super excited. We're gonna be at BeautyCon October 1st, and then I'm pretty sure we're gonna be doing a meetup the night before. So make sure you're following me on all of the socials if you're in the New York area. I would love to meet you guys. Do a little Bayrito meetup situation. Okay, falsies are on, and then I just put on some bottom lash mascara, and then also went over the band with the eyeliner just to cover up any blue and things. And now we're gonna go in for lips. This is the NYX Lip Lingerie, what is this, embellishment? This is like a super grayish kind of taupe. I should probably not talk while I'm putting on liquid lipstick. I think one of my most frequently asked questions is how I apply lipstick with the lip ring, and literally all I do is move it over, and then use the tip. All right, so this is the final look. If you guys like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Like always, all of the products will be listed in the description box down below, along with a care to discount code if you wanna check anything out. I'm gonna show you guys a close up of the makeup right now, but they look identical. You know you say that it feels right.